Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this ghostly photo effect. So here's the before photo, and here is what it looks like with the effect. This is actually an action from my Color Effects Action Pack 2, which you can find on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash justicegood, and there's a video on there explaining everything about that pack and how to download it and how to use it and it's completely free but in this tutorial I'm gonna walk you through how I created this specific effect so the first thing you want to do is find a photo and what I'm going to do just so you can keep the original photo is duplicate this layer now we can begin working on the effect so first go to image adjustments desaturate there's also a shortcut for that which is shift command u on a Mac next we want to duplicate this layer again right click duplicate or command J on a Mac and then head over to filter blur and select motion blur we want to set the angle at zero which is directly horizontal and the distance to about 500 pixels so I'm going to use 550 Now what we want to do here is set the blending mode to screen and set the opacity of this layer to around 60 percent. Now of course you can adjust these to your liking but this is what I've found works well. Now the next thing we want to do is create a curves layer. So head over to layer, new adjustment layer, curves. And what we're going to do here is just bring up the bottom left corner, which is the shadows, so that all of our blacks turn gray. So we can bring that up to about an output of 25 here. Now you want to take, create another point and bring that curve down a little bit. So somewhere around an output of 43 and an input of 56 and then finally you want to go to the top right portion of this curve and bring it back up so something that aligns it back up at an output of around 190 to 190 of course this is going to be different for each photo and this is the part where you really have to play with it and not only focus on the grid but watch the photo as you're moving the slider so that you can get the effect that you want. So once you're happy with that, we want to create one finishing touch, which is the little white specks of dust. I really think this is a great finishing detail. So what you want to do is head over to Layer, New Fill Layer, and select Solid Color. We're going to use a medium to dark gray the exact color of this one is 38 38 38 but you can just eyeball it any medium dark gray will work now what you want to make sure is that your foreground is set to white here so click this little swap arrow and make sure your foreground is at white and your background is at black and then head over to filter sketch I mean filter render fibers It'll ask you if you want to rasterize this layer, select OK, and set the variance to 25 and the strength to 1. And you should see something like this. Now head over to Filter, Sketch, and select Torn Edges. This is where we create the white specks. Use an image balance of around 3 to 5 and adjust the smoothness to your liking you can see here what it's going to look like you can also adjust the contrast I think anything that looks like this is too much and anything that literally looks like just a few white specks here and there I'll zoom in so you can see literally just a few white specks here and there is good so I'm using image balance of 5, smoothness of 8, and contrast of 18 and then what you want to do is set that layer to screen so you can see that it's just a small finishing detail, but
but it adds to that uniqueness of the effect. If you don't like where a certain dot has ended up, like this one by the lip, you can just erase it with the eraser tool. And if you don't like how the dots ended up, you can always just completely redo it by going back, edit undo. I'm using option command Z until this step here. And just redoing the fibers and the torn edges step because these filters are completely randomly generated every time. So again, you can always just redo it, set it to screen, and that's how it's going to turn out. So here's your final effect before and after. If you have any questions, just send me a message or leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer them. Please check out my channel and make sure you subscribe for more awesome Photoshop tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.